A range hood draws exhaust fumes, steam, and cooking smells from your stove and vents them to the outside. Installing a range hood can be tricky and often the hardest part of the installation is running the ductwork from the inside to the outside. The first step is to have an electrician run new wiring to the location above the stove. Make sure the power is turned off during the rest of the installation. Mark the location for the round or rectangular duct and make sure there are no obstructions on the exterior. All right, now to cut the hole through the wall, I'm actually gonna use this six inch hole saw. For round duct work, use a hole saw to cut through the finished wall, which is usually about three quarters of an inch thick. You may need an oscillating saw to complete the cut. If you discover that there's a stud in the way, you'll need to cut a much larger opening to remove the stud and reframe the opening as shown here in a different installation. But for this project, we were able to cut a hole at a slight angle to avoid the stud. We're gonna use our six inch saw and drill in through the wall. Now, because this hole saw can be very aggressive, I'm gonna run it in reverse so I won't catch on the aluminum siding and tear it. Once I get through the aluminum, I'll change the direction of my drill and drill through the wood. If you have clapboard siding, you'll need to create a mounting block for the exterior hood. Cut a hole in the mounting block using the same hole saw and then remove the siding as necessary. And then when we put the hood in there, we'll have a nice flat surface to mount it to. Apply a bead of caulking and then secure the mounting block with screws. Squeeze it in there nice and tight. Okay, now we're just gonna screw the block to the wall. Attach a length of ductwork to the exterior hood with foil tape and screws. Insert it through the wall from the outside and screw the metal hood into the mounting block. These self-tapping screws go right through the metal hood and into the block. Connect the remaining pieces of duct with more foil tape and attach the brackets that will hold the range hood to the wall. All right, mounting brackets all installed. All set, Tom. Okay, now let's see if we can get this hood up there. I'm gonna take that one side. Slide it up. It. Hang the range hood on the brackets and secure the top with screws. Be sure to follow manufacturer's instruction for a secure installation. Tape the remaining duct seams, and with the power turned off, use wire nuts to make the electrical connections. And now for the electrical, we'll just connect the wires white to white and black to black. The last step is to install a trim piece to cover the ductwork. All right, Tracy, you want to do the honors? Sure. A range hood that is properly vented to the outside can make a big difference in your kitchen. You'll finally be able to clear the air. Thanks so much, Tom. The kitchen is finally complete. My pleasure. <laughs>